Hi, welcome to Biostock Studio. RCD Pharma is developing drugs for the treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, the third leading cause of death worldwide. Joining me in the studio today to tell us more about the company and lead candidate RCD405 is CEO of the company, Mia Lundblad. Welcome, Mia. Thank you. For those who aren't aware, what is COPD? COPD is an airway disease that causes this constriction of the airways, but also destruction of the lung or the lung alveoles called emphysema. But it's also a general chronic inflammation uh, and that causes all these symptoms of COPD like mucus production and chronic cough, etc. What's the overall burden of this uh, of this disease bes besides the besides the health burden? Uh, I'm sure there's an economic burden as well. Yes, um, a lot of the economic burden is due to the hospitalizations that are seen in the very severe or in the severe patients, and they actually also develop uh, into severe disease sooner or later due to the constant inflammation and the progression of the disease. Mm. So the hospitalizations itself is a major cause of the costs uh, in this area. And as I mentioned, COPD is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. How does RCD Pharma plan on making a difference here? With our drug candidate RCD 405, we have seen that this dual effect that we have, it targets both the constriction of the airways as well as the inflammation and current treatments, they actually don't prevent or have an effect on the underlying disease itself. And that's where RCD 405 is different because it targets especially the underlying inflammation. Mm -hmm. um, if you could go into more specifics about that, what is it about RCD 405's mechanism of action that uh, uh, targets inflammation sp uh, sp specifically? Yeah, we have seen that it's it's different from the ones, the corticosteroids, that also have a somewhat effect and dampen the inflammation, but we have a different mechanism of action that is different from the corticosteroids. Mm. And we have seen that in both in vitro studies and now also confirmed in in vivo studies, where we see a decrease of these pro-inflammatory cytokines that are involved in the induction of the inflammation but also on an effect on the immune cells that are involved in COPD. Mm -hmm. And um, at, at what stage in the development is uh, RCD405 right now? Yeah, we are still in the preclinical phase and we are about to conclude and complete the non-rodent tox studies and then with the aim to get into the clinic uh, once we have completed a few other activities as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to help you along in the journey, you've recently appointed uh, two scientific advisors. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about them and what their specific roles will be? Yes. Yeah, first of all, we have Professor Arne Egesten here from Lund, who is a clinician, but also a professor and researcher with his own research group. So he has both the clinical contacts and the clinical knowledge, but also the research knowledge within COPD and asthma. And his group has also performed some of the studies and the, some of the results that we have generated recently. Mm -hmm. Then we have also Professor Clive Page from the UK, who is a very renowned person within this research field of asthma and COPD. And he has also been involved in a lot of different drug development projects and also other companies before. And he has a very large network of people that we also are engaged with now to help us along the journey and development. Very important assets to have for sure. Yes. Um, well, uh, finally, uh, RCD is a rather young company, not even one year old. Um, what are you most looking forward to in, let's say, the coming year? Yes, that we can complete these important studies, especially the TOC studies, and that we are prepared to go into the clinic and have completed these important uh, studies that we now plan for in the coming months and that we then also can go into the clinic and obtain clinical data as soon as possible. And that was our conversation with RCD's CEO, Mia Lundblad. Thank you so much, Mia, for joining us today. Thank you very much.